Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. In this video, we are going to have a look at all the different features that we learn in geometry, including circle, including line, points, angles, as well as uh, continuing with the concept of similarity and congruence. The reason for this is because we want to come up with uh, different kind of shapes that we will be using them to solve different kind of problems in mathematics geometrically. So we're going to split the video in many parts uh, because this is going to be like a, a very wide uh, kind of topic uh, since we have a different kind of, for example, we have different kind of circle that we're going to look at, you know, like we're going to look at um, the the sphere, we're going to look at the cylinder, we're going to look at the cones, we're going to look at the curves, and uh, we're going to look at the parabola and hyperbola and things like that. That's just at the circle. And triangles also has, you know, different kind of triangles that we're going to go through uh, each of them one by one. And uh, we're also going to look at different kind of uh, uh, equilaterals which may include things like uh, trapezium, trapezoid and different kind of rectangles as well as uh, the parallelograms. So uh, it's, the topic is huge and also we are going to take a look at different kind of polygons, uh, regular polygons as well as the 3D polygons and we are going to conclude by looking at the concept of tessellation which is about using a specific uh, shape to come up with a huge pattern and this is very very important in the design as well if you do like carpet design or even building or construction uh, design for constructing a house or you know laying the foundation of the house or drawing the, the architecture or architectural structure of a city or a town See, geometry is a huge topic and it's very important in engineering. So in this video, we are going to start by uh, introducing one of the shapes and that will be our well-known triangle. So let us look at what a triangle is and uh, different types of triangles and how we can use triangle in many areas in mathematics. So today, as usual, we are just going to start with triangles. Triangles. So what is a triangle? Triangle is a shape. It has three vertices and three sides. But how, how, how does it come about? My friend, this is where geometry plays a great role. We learn about small features, the nitty gritty features in geometry like points, lines, circle, angles and we're going to put them together to form this shape known as triangle for example we know that that is a point and a point is the beginning of everything everything that you can think of including life including universe everything begins from a point and everything will possibly and at a point. <laughs> so now let us look at the point as far as uh, this triangle is concerned. So let's say we have one point and when we have another point and then we have another point. My friend from there we can deduce the shape of a triangle because triangle has three vertices that means it has three points. Now when we join those points together with the line segments we form what is known as a triangle. Remember, we have used two features of geometry already. We have used the point and the line or the line segments to come up with our triangle. Let's say triangle A, B, C. There's one more thing though. We know that triangles, triangles or a triangle has three vertices and three vertices are the point where each of the line segments meet so they meet at this point 
And we know that where two line segments meet, angle is formed. An angle is an area under two lines and close by part of the circle to form some sort of uh, a degree or units of degree. So that means we need that part of the circle to define our angle. For example, let's say 60 degree, uh, 40 degree, or 80 degree. You see, circle, part of the circle is used. We have used part of uh, the lines. We have used the points and we have applied degrees there to form our triangle. So this is a complete triangle. And what to note about triangle is that total total angles total angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degree this is a generic uh, is a national natural feature or default feature of a triangle when you add all the angles in a triangle you must get 180 degrees for example angle a b c let's say triangle a b c if you add the angle at a plus angle at B, plus angle at C, you give, you get 180 degrees. If you get anything beyond 180 degrees after adding up the sum of the total angles in a triangle, that is not a triangle. Now the second thing to know about triangle is that the area of a triangle is given by area of a triangle is given by a half times the base times the height so this gives you the area of a triangle any triangle the base is the slanting part and then the height is how tall or high or the altitude of the triangle so this gives you the area of the triangle and the perimeter of the triangle is the length, you know, like you can add, for example, if you know the length of the side. So when you add the length of the side all around the triangle, you get what is called the perimeter of a triangle. So these are the features of triangle, and that is what a triangle is. A triangle is, is a shape with three vertices or three angles joined together by three line segments forming an angles at each of the vertices now we're going to look at the types of triangle types of triangle there are about four, uh, four basic types of triangle, and those types are necessary. You can use them, you can try to manipulate any angles, but everything will boil down to those four types of triangles. So let us look at them. The first one is a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle, which means two lines, two lines, form a vertex at a right angle and at that vertex we have 90 degree here so this is a right angled triangle number two we have what is known as a collateral triangle a equilateral triangle a collateral triangle has equal sides and equal angles. So the angles inside here are all equal and all the sides are also all equal. 
Number three, we have what is called isosceles triangle. Isos, isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides and two equal angles. So two equal sides and two equal angles. For example, this side is equal to that and that angle is equal to that, except that one there is not equal to the two. So this is an isosceles triangle. Number four, we have what is called scalene triangle. Scalene. Uh, let's draw it like that. This is known as scalene. Scalene. Scalene triangle. This is a triangle with no matching side and which with no matching angles so both the sides and the angles do not match they're completely different for example this angle a is different from angle b and is different from angle c and this side is not equal to that and is not equal to that so let's say um, this could be y side y z x they are completely different so this brings us to the end of the types of triangles and these types of the triangles each of them help us each of them helps us to solve specific problems you know specific different kind of problems in mathematics so we are going to look at how these triangles help us to solve problem in mathematics in the next video for example right angle triangles help us to derive what is known as Pythagoras' theorem and also help us to uh, define uh, trigonometric functions by looking at the relationship between the sides of the triangle the relationship between the side of the triangle with their angles in order to define the functions of cosine, sine, tangent, and many others. So we are going to have a look at that later in the next video. The same applies to all other triangles. We are also going to use them to define the cosine rule, the sine rule, and see how we can manipulate them to solve different kind of problems in mathematics. So that is it, my friend. That is triangle, our number one shape. And uh, we are going to uh, stop here and I hope the video has been useful and as usual remember to thumbs up or thumbs down and please subscribe if you haven't done so and comment share this video as many as possible and your comments are very very important because you know nobody's perfect I am not perfect I need you so please send me that comments regardless of whatever it may be it will be very useful for me uh, because i learn from the mistake and i learn by sharing so your comment will play a vital role in my uh, video production uh, material dis material coverage and presentation obviously so thank you for viewing and uh, thank you for your time and uh, I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you.